Hey everybody, it's Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network. I'm here to talk about Extermination Number 4. This book just came out yesterday, and uh, I will go ahead and say that the cover is a little bit misleading. I know that, uh, you know, Marvel, whenever they release this cover that is on the screen next to me, uh, they actually were wanting to not spoil, I guess, further parts of the book. But, uh, well, I don't actually have the book sitting here on me. It's, like, way over there. I don't want to get up in the middle of a video. Um, it, the, it's actually uh, Cable. Like, Young Cable is uh, on the cover of the book. I was thinking it was Cyclops, because down at the bottom it says, it actually, on the actual book, it says Summers must die. And, uh, but it's actually Cable, and, uh, like, Young Cable. And apparently he is trying to get everything back to normal for the original X-Men to send them back. Now, this is issue four of five. It'll be next month before we see issue number five and how the story wraps up. I personally do not see how they're going to be able to wrap this up in a meaningful way. Uh, I, I really don't in one issue uh, because they've still not gotten all the X-Men together. It's almost like if they're, like, I don't want to really give away the ending of this book, but it feels like if they're going to, um, like, if they're going to wrap this up in one more issue, that they're going to have to, you know, finish the battles, they're going to have to get everybody together really quick, and then send them to the past, and that'll be it. They won't really have time to explain what's going on, they won't have time to explain how they're going to fix everything, like... Honest to God, the only thing I can think of is in the last three or four pages of number five, they're just going to send them back to the past, tell Xavier, hey, wipe their memories, and then that'll be it. It'll be like so, I think it's almost too easy, and I'm not really a big fan, um, and they may end up doing that Battle of the Atom thing where they end up uh, not sending them back to the past after all, and then we end up with the original X-Men still in the present for another five years. And I personally don't think that's the way to go either. But uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Marvel promised to send the X-Men back and then we end up not getting that. Um, the art in the story so far, this right here is the best issue so far, I really do believe. Uh, we get X-Force, we get, uh, you know, we, we get lots of teams of X-Men. Things are looking really good. The art is amazing. It almost uh, strikes me as some of the stuff from like a Messiah Complex and a Second Coming, Messiah War, uh, books like that. It's got kind of that dark look, you know, and I really do. The, the art and the storytelling in this book is amazing. I'm going to rate this book about a 9 out of 10. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a really good book, and it kept my attention all the way through. Um, but... Yeah, I, I'm really curious to see how they're going to wrap this book up. There's really no telling how it's going to go. We have another month to wait. And uh, I'll be back for number five in about 30 days. I'm Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network. Brought to you by Infinity Flux, where you can get the last uh, few issues of Extermination. Thanks for watching.